What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 13 public beta 1 and in this video I'm going to show you how to sign up for the public beta and get it running on your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch. Now if you've already been using iOS 13 because you have a developer profile installed, I'm going to be answering some questions you guys might have near the end of this video. But for now, let's show those of you who are still on iOS 12 like I am here on my iPhone 10s Max how to get on the public beta program and start running iOS 13 today. All right, so this is going to be a very short short and straightforward tutorial. So all you're going to do is go ahead over to Safari, then you just want to go to beta.apple.com. After you get there, you should see this screen right here. You want to scroll down until you see the blue button that says sign up, go ahead and click on that. And then you should be brought to a login screen. Go ahead and log in with your Apple ID and passcode. And then you'll come to an agreement page right here where you'll have to agree to some terms and conditions. You can read those if you want, or just click on accept. Then you'll be brought to the guide for public betas. And this is where you choose which beta profile you're trying to install. So Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, or TV OS. Now, obviously for this video, I am using an iPhone, so I'm gonna select iOS, but if you are using an iPad, like I have right over here, you would select iPad OS, so you just tap on it. So for me, iOS, let's go ahead and scroll down. And then you can see right here where it says get started, you will see a link right here that says enroll your iOS device. You wanna click on that, and then it will take you to a page that says enroll your devices to get public beta software. And all it does here is it tells you to archive a backup. So if you you don't have a backup already make sure you do have an iCloud backup as of you know today or yesterday whenever you want because you could lose your data it's not likely going to happen but it is possible and then you'll scroll down and see install profile so after you've already backed up your device you want to go and click on the blue button right here that says download profile and then after you click on download profile you'll see this pop up right here you just want to go ahead and click on allow then you can just go ahead and click on close now we're going to go over to our settings and at the very top of settings you should see right there it says profile downloaded go ahead and tap on that then you'll see this right here, go and tap install, put in your passcode, go ahead and tap on install again, and then install one final time. And then it says restart required. Please restart your iPhone to apply the changes. Go ahead and restart your phone. All right, so once we're back, go ahead and put in our passcode. Then we'll go back into settings. We're gonna go to general software update. And this is where you should see the iOS 13 public beta software update populate. And there you go. You can see we have iOS 13 public beta now in our software update section inside of our settings. So it's about a four gigabyte download. So a very big download. Make sure you are on Wi-Fi and plugged into a charger before you update this. And after you update this, you will be on iOS iOS 13 public beta and you will get future iOS 13 updates as well. Now, one thing you guys do need to understand is that not every application is updated and supported with iOS 13. So you could run into issues and you know, some of the applications may be buggy. They may crash. I know asphalt nine doesn't even work on iOS 13 at all. So just be prepared for that. And once you do install iOS 13, you will see that you do have a feedback application as well. You can see that purple icon right there. That's what the application looks like. So just make sure to report all your bugs inside of the feedback application once you find them that's gonna help Apple patch up these bugs and fix it and make everything more stable for future releases now for those of you who have the iOS 13 developer profile installed and right now as of recording this video it's developer beta 2 you will want to keep using that profile instead of switching over to the public beta and the big reason for that is because you're gonna get all future iOS 13 updates faster than public beta testers public beta testers always get these updates after the developer profile users get the iOS 13 updates. Now, generally the public beta is a little bit more stable than the developer betas, but it's not really gonna be a big difference. Most of the time, the public beta is based off of the previous developer beta. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is how you can get iOS 13 on your device without being a paid developer. That is the public beta program, the way you can sign up for the iOS 13 public beta. So now that you guys are on iOS 13, make sure to go back and watch all of the videos I made on iOS 13 over the past couple of weeks. You will definitely find a lot of new features and changes here in the software that you will really enjoy. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course, subscribe for a lot more iOS 13 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.